is how do kids feel about punishment first of all I feel about punishment as a childish thing not that's not right for us we know how to problem solve and we know how to, we know how to do stuff our own way and kids feel about punishment like oh it doesn't matter how boys look down this day it doesn't matter how God signed the next day or today and oh uh. Punishment is really a waste of time because kids can really just, after school, they can go home and play outside unless you tell their parents. But punishment is really unnecessary for our class because we're way past that. And punishment is really childish and we are very mature class. How kids feel about punishment, they don't think it's like anything because they'll just be like, I can go outside and play all day. It's like that doesn't get to them. It gets to like none of them. Our class, we used to get punishment. We wouldn't care. We would just come back the next day not doing anything. We would just like, it would like get like fly away for us. Like we wouldn't care about it, but it, we don't care about punishment. That doesn't change us. What really changed us is who we become now and looking past on what we've done and what what we've done bad and what we changed. What works better than punishment is when we have our justice circles and we get to problem solve and not just get punished and lose recess because problem solving helps us more. So we can get the feelings off our chest and not let it go on and on. And then we'll end up not having, we'll, we'll end up not having really good relationships. Relationships. So it's that's better to problem solve and to have justice circles. What works better than punishment? I think class meeting because we get to hear from how we're hurting. This sort of goes with why do kids need to hear from other kids because we're hearing from our fellow relation or fellow classmates how our relationships are being harmed and how we're harming our. our um, friendship, how we can repair these things. What works better than punishment is problem solving because instead of just like punishing them, you get to like, you get to problem solve with another, per with another person to see how you, you harm them and how they harmed you and you can fix it between each other like either a handshake or like because or like an or an apology, and um, so we matured a lot, and now all we pretty much do is go with a handshake instead of telling telling the parents, getting suspension, and it really helps and lets us. Grow. We need to listen from to um, uh, need to listen from other kids because we understand each other more than adults understand us because everybody's been in certain shoes that the kids go through during that moment, so we could help and support them more than adults because the kids understand each other more. When we problem solve. <laughs> you got the wrong okay?
circle. Our justice circle helps us because we can we can talk about our feelings and like if we hold grudges on each other like if like you got in an argument with someone and um, like your teacher says we'll talk about it in a couple weeks well or a couple days then they're probably just gonna forget it and then they're gonna hold more grudges on each other and then they're gonna get mad at each other and if they're really good friends their friendships just gonna fall apart in the justice circle we we talk about how to repair harm like if somebody hits somebody we're taught to de-escalate and we're talking about to de-escalate and not escalate and um, also we have to repair the harm with like like a handshake or maybe an apology to the class or like just and not let it happen again in the future so if it does so if it does happen again you're, that you're not that's not the meaning of sorry is to make it not happen again so if you say sorry make sure and the meaning kids, kids should do the talking because um it, it gives it gives them the chance to like express what they're feeling and how they're feeling and let everybody know how they're feeling. And um, it makes kids feel more comfortable with their classmates telling them things that, um, that like, like they're always just act like they're all a big family and just, um, just tell them things that happen probably at home and school and recess and lunch. At the beginning of the year, we used to be the worst class we wouldn't behave, we wouldn't listen to teachers or reminders or anything. But once you, we set goals for ourselves, we started problem solving, we started, so, we started showing leadership and we started being supportive and then we still had a couple problem, we still have a couple problems but we used the justice circle to, to talk about all the harm and how to change the harm so no one feels bad and no one takes that out on the way that our behavior, on, on our behavior. I used to be one of the worst kids in the class and then after we came up with the council and we started doing the justice circle, it really changed me and now I'm one of the best kids. And I changed because I felt like all the kids who were doing good got respected a lot more so I felt that I wasn't really respected as a kid who was being bad, so I changed my mind. And I used people. to be one of the worst students in the class. I mean, like, the worst. I get, I got, like, eight suspensions, 500 referrals, 300 times sent to the office, and I changed because after the council came, I really wanted shit for the stars. I wanted to become president or vice president because once you make it on the council it means you did it. it means you achieved your main goal to be on the council.